Of course, Drini in problem. Got the buys in the Legend Conference. And they're awaiting to see what happens between Safa and Dubby. And Dubby will get it first as it goes out of bounds at the 40. Uh, are you ready, Scott? The first ever playoffs of the Ultimate League. History in the making. Yeah, first Se season of the Ultimate League. And first time that we're looking at the playoffs. Yeah. Season on the line for the Cinderella story since the club championship. Jamal Daniels, a.k.a. Masafa Jones, 22 years old from Atlanta, Georgia, going up against the grizzled veteran, former belt winner Chris McFarland, a.k.a. Dub.W, 30 years old from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, coming off of a going to a Super Bowl, seeing his Eagles take that Lombardi Trophy home, highly motivated. Yeah, that Let's rock. All the way back in February, still feeling that win, their first win ever for the city of Philadelphia. Second and inches. Notice he's got Michael Vick as his quarterback. One of the many legends you can get in Madden 18. And Derrick Henry is going to be his workhorse. High snap, and he hands it off to Henry. Spins it, and he falls. Come on. And Dubby able to recover. Maybe dodged a bullet there. Oh, man, this would have been a huge fumble. Masafa Jones clicks on, big hit a fumble. And you're going to see a lot of you're going to see a lot of momentum from Masafa Jones. He gets very animated, and he leaves it all out there. We've been seeing that from him all season long, those grisly reactions after he makes a big play. And in Madden football, you don't get a lot of possessions, only five-minute quarters. So on fourth and one at midfield, he's going for it. Yeah, this is a key difference between real life and the NFL. These short quarters force you to play an aggressive style of football. We got a big play early in the playoffs, Scott. Tyreek Hill is solo to the left. He's got Derrick Henry in the backfield with Michael Vick. Quick throw to Henry. Let's go! On. Let's go! And Safa will take over on downs right at midfield. And if you dub that dubby, with fourth and one with the cheddar on the line, that's not really who you want to be going through. Derrick Henry catching the ball is not going to give you your best chance for success, especially in traffic. Huge stop early on for Masafa Jones, and we've been saying it all season. He's a dark horse, but he's been playing with a lot of passion, and he's hungry. This is his first year. You know, he's been playing competitive Madden for a long time, but this is his first time ever making some of these live events really started to benefit off the competitive Madden scene, and he doesn't want that season to end. Dubby with a lot of cushion in the secondary. Come on, man. And there goes Herschel Walker. Touchdown. You're going to see Walker carry the ball a lot for Safa, especially in key short yard situations, second and nine. Ball at the 48. He's going to flip that bunch again. And right now, that play art, when you see him pull up that play art, you're seeing the game from Musafa Jones' perspective right now. Keep in mind, we, I like to tell people, Dubby can't see that play art. And we mentioned how similarly the rosters were. What about those playbooks? No, it's, it's pretty easy with the playbooks. Both of these guys running the same exact playbooks, both in that West Coast offensive playbook. Both running the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. So you're talking about two players who are very familiar with each other and also familiar with the plays that each other want to run because they're running basically very similar schemes on both offense and defense. It doesn't always work out that way, but happens to be the point here in the playoffs. Second and 11. All the way down to the 30 after the big throw to Tyreek Hill. But after the loss, it's going to be Second down. Mariota throws it to the side, and Hill can't control it. It's going to be a third and 11. And the gun in field goal range. Watch for that Delaney Walker, number 82. That Walker and Walker combo with Delaney and Herschel. And there he goes to Walker. The tight end will take it to the 23. 
Now you're going to have a fourth and four, and he's gone for it here early in the games. This is not unusual. This could be him just looking for the fake snap. Try to jump, get W to jump off sides, and then he'll take a timeout and kick the field goal. I don't really believe South is going to snap this ball. That three-man front, and finally, he'll take the false start, which is just as good as the delay of game. That'll help him save a timeout. South with some momentum early. 45 yep. yarders up, and it's good. Yeah, he has the momentum early, gets the stop on Dubby, looking good. And Dubby takes him with the momentum back, holding stop for the three. It's going to be a big statement drive for Dub Dot. You got to remember, stop is going to get the ball to start the second half. You don't want to fall too behind here. Well, he laid down after Safa had actually missed the tackle. Had some room to the outside, but you got to be careful, especially here in the playoffs. Look at that Falcons helmet with the Eagles helmet. Nice little touch on the set, huh? Sophomore, of course, was the Atlanta Falcons club champion representative earlier in the season. Throw to Hill. Dubby got knocked out of the Philly club championship early, and that sort of has sparked him, and he's locked in here in the Ultimate League. Oh, he's been making a serious run here in the Ultimate League. See both of these guys, but very similar no. game plans, both in this gun bunch offense. Most popular offense on the circuit. Top of some good defense here. There's a three-man rush with a spy. Dubby tries to step up, pocket collapses, second and 14. Fresh coverage on the outside. Ball just shy of the 50. Michael Vick. Let's go! And he'll go down. Loss of eight. And look at Safa. He's got a good game face, too, I'm telling you. He plays with a lot of passion, a lot of fire in his heart. He's one of those guys that can do that. Some people, I don't like when they play, you know, all animated and stuff. It gets them out of the game, but seems to motivate Safa as he goes. Third and 22. Sends the play with Vic. But a wild throw that Devin Hester had a layout for. It's going to bring up a fourth and 20 at the 43. And that layout really hurt W. He had Hester in some space. If he could have caught that ball in stride and picked up some rack after the catch, he would have been in a much more manageable fourth down situation where he might have been able to go for it. But I think he has to get his boot out here. It's not a good look if you dump that W. Kate, Kate, Kate. He's going to punt. Got Matt Prater, he's his kicker. He subs in at punter. Why these guys don't carry like an official punter on the roster? Because in salary cap, you want to waste any extra points on a punter, someone that you usually don't use from game to game. And we talked about it in the shorter quarters, it's only five minute quarter games. You don't plan on punting the ball often, so. If ever. If ever. So it is. It's a strategic move, but you don't want to spend a lot of cap on that punter. You, you could put it somewhere else, whether it's on that offensive line, upgrading the receiver, adding an extra DB for your nickel or dime package. Very Herschel Walker again. It's a very strategic mode, Coltrane. And it's not just about what you can do with the sticks on the field. It's about what type of lineup you can assemble with game plan you can put together as well. well. That might be the final play of the quarter. And a 3-0 game, Safa with some key defensive stops and a long field goal. And that's where we're at at the end of the first. So here at the start of the second quarter, Safa with a field goal lead, and he's got the ball in his own 13. Smith, one of its key players, and That's he'll take why we it put him in, in for the six. Flat. That's why we oh. put him in the flat. That is a bad read by Musafa playing great defense, and then goes down and lays it down on offense. Throws a Stevie right at W for a pick there. six, and when someone's struggling on O, you don't want to give him a pick six. That was huge. In the playoffs, season on the line, a crucial mistake. By Safa Jones. 
Well, how was he going to answer? <laughs> you heard that. He said that's why you put him in the hard flat. He angrily adjusted that defender. Throws him into that flat assignment. He's just all Literally over it. Harrison Smith, Harrison one of the goons. And a lot of these Madden guys, they'll put their safeties up at corner to help stop the run and make plays like that. Oh, boy, did he make a play. That was huge. And if you saw for Jones, here you are. You're right back on offense. You throw a book like that. You got to quickly regroup and have a short memory. And so I think it's it going to be Use the word. Get off my field, man. It's Jabril Peppers and Dubby ah! telling him to get off the field. It's his field now. And Dubby showing some emotion in the playoffs. The Madden season's on the line. And Dubby's been known to step up on the big stage. And boy, did he step up right there with a huge alert. The Philadelphia natives here to fight in the playoffs, Scott. And not unusual for Musafa. That is his 23rd turnover of the Ultimate League. That's, that's excessive. That's a lot of turnovers. Musafa Jones, you need a regroup here. And the least hold Dubby to a field goal. Keep it a one possession ball game. Remember, you get it to start the second half. W was our number three seed in the Legend Conference. Musafa oh, number six. And he's in. Mean mugs him for the oh. bomb. And is that a mean mug? Look at W. I'm telling you, with these Philadelphia guys, you put them back up against the wall, and they turn grizzly. And there's the Grizzly right there after a huge play. Chris McFarlane, the oldest competitor we have in the league, 30 years old. And boy, is he turning up right now in the playoffs. Wishing, wishing, if he wins this game, he would wishing, face number no, two, Trini, no, in the divisional round. The Vikings just throws a strike. Jeff gets the feet in bounce. Stop the frustrated and look at the savagery of Dub. Got to regroup here. You go down, you even if you get a field goal, it makes it a one-score game. Ah! Walker Bring a tackle fighting. For him. Ah! Almost got free. Pass the ball, man. Guys, win. Telling you, Scott, this is a special kind of man, and you get in these elimination type games that builds a special kind of fire in your heart. You know that everything you worked for all season long is on the line. Keep playing with me. Help you play with a little extra emotion, and W showing it right now. Good gain out to the 47. He's in plus it's territory. First and 10 for Safa. Wish and wish and After back-to-back -back -back interceptions, that W scored 14 points off those turnovers. Yep. To yep, Walker yep, and yep, Herschel. Yep, yep. Bad things that they wish Five carries for two yards. Yusufa, you got to do something to get this momentum back. You, did you hear Dubby's yelling even when he just stops a simple run and play? He is highly motivated right now. And if Yusufa, you need to find a way to virtually punch him back in the mouth and get yourself back in this game or it could get ugly. Mariota to Harrison and Marvin pulls it in at the 33. That's a fresh set of downs. Fresh set of downs that brings him into field goal range as well. So even if he can't score a touchdown, he can take three and still be having a one possession ball game. After the gain of 14, Walker. Open field. One man to Let's beat. Let's make a play, Shields. And Sam Shields, that's a budget player. Talked about salary cap. He only costs you 14. He's a bronze item that's got a lot of speed and made a key play there on first down. Man, it wasn't even a tackle. He just gave him a little, got his hands on him, shoved him out of bounds. Pretty much saved the touchdown. Mariota. Ah! It collapses. It's a lot of it. Whitehead. And that I'm is a sack shield, by baby. Whitehead. They need, they need Talking about budget players, he's only 12 cap. The Whitehead's been balling the dubby. Ever since he put him in the lineup earlier in the season, we've seen him make some big plays. W was thinking about taking him out the lineup for the playoffs. Said, nah, boy, that's been too good for me. And comes up with a big sack there. That big makes it a third and 11. This is going to be a long field goal if he doesn't get it. Yeah, this is big, Scott. This is a big play. This is a huge momentum play for Safa. And we got movement up front. 
So that'll mark off five yards at the 29 now. Makes it a much more manageable field goal and a more manageable third down. Well, you want this first down. You really want to keep this drive going. Get yourself a touchdown. Oh, no! He's on the book! Baja! Baja! Stevie! Third interception of the game. And all these wounds are self-inflicted for Musafa Jones. Oh no, Musafa Jones. It's hot in Atlanta and it's getting hot in here. Here in LA. We were just talking about it, Scott. He needed to make sure that he got some points on that possession to make it the one score ball game. And throws a third interception of the half. And you got to wonder how much is experience coming into play here. Dub dot dub, he's been on the big stage many of times. Has won himself a belt already. This is Safa's first time in a real do or die situation like this. I mean, he's had one other big game in the club championship semifinals. I don't think the stage was ever this big, though. And those bright lights might be getting to him. Turnover number 24 of the year for Safa but trying to fight on defense. He's only allowed one offensive touchdown. This game, theoretically, should be 7-3. to three. Well, And if you're W, you have to be careful. With Masafa Jones' offense struggling as much as it is right now, you can't do something dumb on offense to let him make a play on defense that'll give him all kinds of momentum back. Press coverage. Drag route to Devin Hester. Saf is going to use a timeout here. Now the ball's at the 20, fourth and 11. I think you go here. The defense is playing gonna, as good as Dubbins yeah, is. Good point. He's going to punt it away. This is not going to be a, a long punt. If he gets 30 yards out of it, he'd be happy. Try to kick it out of bounds past midfield. And it will bounce and will get out of bounds. Tyreek Hill couldn't get over there. So when all is said and done, not a bad punt by Dubby. Yeah, good punt by Dubby. But once again, Mustafa Jones finds himself in one of these situations there where he needs to go down and get some points, Cole. Make this a one-score game. You get the ball to start the second half. And we've seen you put together some good plays. You just got to watch out for those Stevie Wonder reads. He's getting too comfortable with those corner routes, and he's throwing a couple picks. It's no Walker. throw, no Herschel. Seven to seven. Herschel averaging one yard per carry. Jarrell Peppers on the stop again. The rookie from Michigan. Mariota. Throws it deep, and he has great. Go. And just you like this, this, here you comes Sapphire. Oh, 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 we're getting interested in the wild card. Safa says, you're doing all that beating your chest and yelling, Dubby, let me drop back, throw an absolute dime and get myself back in this ball game. We got a good one. Kick is up and it is good. Three plays, 58 yards. Only took 55 seconds to take it to the crib. I'm hearing from the back, Donnie Moore says, celebration rating plus one <laughs> for Musafa Jones. He's now up to a 98. Donnie Moore, part of the EA crew on Madden Football. Helps us with the stats, helps us with the ratings, and look at that bomb. That is a dart. Oh, that's a dime right there. And look at the emotion of Jamal Daniels, a.k.a. Masafa Jones from Atlanta, Georgia. So first and ten for Dubby. He's got all three timeouts. But he's going to air it out. Wow! And he stands, he wastes as much time as he can. Did I? Did I lose him? He looked open from the get-go. I hope we get a chance at a replay of that because Tyreek Hill was right up the seam and had all kind of space. He just questioned did he have the guts to throw it, and he did. What a response by W before the end of this first half. Got Musafa Jones makes a huge play, gets the momentum, stops, gets plus one on a celebration rating. And if you dub dot dub, you, you come so. back on your next possession and throw a rocket. 
to make it a two-score ball game, only leaving soft for 35 seconds left. Wow. 21 to 10. 35 ticks left in the half. Take a look at this replay again, RG. That's Tyreek Hill right up the seam, right up the dash. And you see him get the space in the zone. And what an answer. Now Safa with two timeouts. A three here. Even a field goal would make it a one possession game. Gets away from the pressure. Uh oh. Got to watch out. Got to get down. Oh, 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 oh. And somehow recovers at the 50. <laughs> I don't know how he recovers this. Oh, sometimes the oh. gods will just look down upon you and throw you a blessing. And then he finds Hill. Unable to get out of bounds, so he has to use a timeout at the 32. You got to get three, young fella. Oh, especially after that blessing that he just got. Running breakfast with the quarterback, fumble, green jerseys all around the ball. And somehow the old lineman comes out of nowhere, puts his life on the line, dives on it. Block. Uh oh, Herschel. Stop. Oh, oh, he rolls oh, over him. Oh, the clock ticks. Two seconds, Scott. Shields did enough. Got to kick a three. I don't know if he'll get to it in time. Watch Herschel here. Boom! Oh, but he couldn't get away into the end zone. Five seconds. Four. Got it off. It's up and it's good, but it's not a touchdown. But it is an answer. And the lead at the half is a one possession game, 21 to 13. Dubby over Musafa. Are you not entertained? Heading into the second quarter, this has been an emotional. Start to the wild card round for both of these guys. Dubby, he's getting there. hot. Locking in. That's why we put him in the flat. That's why we put him in the flat. <laughs> he stays right in the 99. He stays in on him, Scott. Right. Look at that. Look at this the emotion right here. And this is what you're going to see in Baja, playoff Baja. John Madden football, Scott, when the stakes are high. And the stage is at its brightest. <laughs> Your entire season's on the line. You got to leave it all out there on the virtual gridiron. Did I lose you? <laughs> well, not to be outdone on the other side. Musafa Jones, he can get fired up. Look at that. Look at that emotion. Both these players playing with fire in their heart. Oh, man. Like you said, are you not entertained? We're having some fun with this one, Cole. Start of the third quarter. Wow. What a first half. Here in the Legend Conference. Playoffs. Trying to move on to the next round. Winner go home. And Safa's going to get it trailing by eight. Just a one possession game. All I can say is if this is what the Ultimate League playoffs are about, give me more. So he'll have it at the 29. Plagued by turnovers in the first half, but battled back to make it a one possession game. Just eight points. Be interesting if you go down here and score, if he'll go for two or wait to chase the points later. Walker runs over one. Can't get away from Peppers. And if you're Marsafa Jones, you have to be feeling somewhat good that you could play that poorly of a first half. And still only be down one possession with the ball. One, one, one. Now you just got to capitalize on this opportunity. One, 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 play the best Madden football you've played all season long here in this second half. Second and two. That's time. Not that much time, though. Throws it away. Good throw away right there if you saw the Jones. You don't, you don't want to force anything down the field. 
You gotta be willing to let it go and live to fight another down. Third and two. Draw. Walker runs over. Boy, Sam Shields, I know he's back there, <laughs> but Walker is punishing him. Boom! Out of my way. Use the truck. Ball at the 49 now. Opening drive of the second half for Safa Jones, the man from Atlanta. Changing formations here, Cole. Dubby just ready for it. The veteran Dubby versus the youth of Safa. Need it gaming. That's who Dubby's with. EMB crew. That's who Musafa's with. That's where they practice. That's where they lab. That's where they train. And a low throw to Hill. Found the tender space in the zone and fit one in there. Good throw right there by Musafa Jones. And you said it earlier, Scott. He's falling in love with those corner routes and he's completing them at a high percentage. Walker. But he's going to need to be careful to not make the blind read on that route and throw another interception. Well, we've seen some completions on, on Walker's route. We've first, seen some interceptions. Yeah, his first seven carries, he only had seven yards. And now he's added 63 more yards to his total. Just on the last few runs. Back to Herschel. Oh, oh my! Ronnie oh. Lott's getting some. Good stick work here by Musafa Jones. Up on the right stick to get the truck going out of my way. And Amos saves the touchdown. Don't hurt him, Herschel. First and goal from the six. Watch the stretch to the left here. Now bring Hill across for an extra blocker. Blocker, here comes the stretch. Picks up a block, cuts it back. Go, Good job, Got a yard and a half down to the four. It's going to be second and goal from there. Look at the focus of Dubby. He knows he's been playing one heck of a ball game, but for some reason, the off that Jones is still all the way in this. That could be a little frustrating if you dumped off Dubby. Moves Kondo to the outside. Goes to the air. Watch the wheel route. Throws it low. Nearly picked off. Got to be careful right there if you're south of Jones. You can't afford to keep turning this ball over. And we got ourselves a big, big third down coming up here on Tubby's four-yard line. Third and goal. Ball at the four. Trailing by eight. He'll run it again. Let's and Herschel! Go. Oh. Let's go, man! Will he go for the tie? Yeah, not much time to celebrate if you miss off the Jones because you know you immediately got to think about going for this two-point conversion. Look at him pondering. What's he got it? What's he got in the arsenal for this situation? He's gonna go for it here. He's gonna chase the points. Gotta watch the, the inside run to Herschel. That's where he goes. And no good. Not gonna get in there. Big right stop the W. Right now here's the thing. With W up two, if he can go down here and just score a touchdown. Two possession game. Two possession ball game. That's why it makes it tough to chase the point sometimes. That relieves a little bit of the pressure on Dubby. Uh-oh. That's it's Devin Hester. Hester. This is Hefty. This is Hefty. He's cutting it back again. Are you kidding me? Oh! And you're asking how can he do that after you see the touchdown run. Devin Hester has a chemistry. It's called a return chemistry, and he doesn't lose Stanma until he makes his first move or gets hit. Yeah, so that allowed Dubby to reverse field a couple of times. And, oh, man, if he could have took that one back. The place would have went nuts in here. He has a two-point lead. He has the ball. 1.53 to go in the third. Hands it off to Henry. Bounces around. 
And Derrick Henry will get to the 35. Just three carries for eight yards. He's done a majority of his damage on defense. Hasn't had to really rely on the offensive game thus far. Yeah, I mean, the, the touchdown before half was just a one-play bomb. Not really a, not a prolific drive or nothing like that. I mean, if you could get it that way, you'll take it. Oh, Let's no! go! And he threw a bad one! Picked off. Let's go, man! We That's fight! That's Fuller we fight. for Virginia Tech. You know the Fuller family, DB for days, and this is a pick. And you hear Masafa Jones, he said, we fight, we fight. And I've called it since earlier in the season. Once we saw the passion and grit that this young man from Atlanta, Georgia played with, we knew he was going to be a dark horse going into these playoffs and could potentially make some noise. And win or lose, he's already made some noise here to throw three interceptions in the first half and fight all the way back here. And Turn this into a real ball. Oh, you're right. Put him there. I'm himself. moving Harrison Fourth around, man. Fourth game. Dummy Harrison. Oh, he's oh, oh, in one oh, side. Bye, oh, Harrison. Oh, I'm moving him around. Dummy. Let's that go, man. Pick six. You do that shit one too many times, man. He warned him. When we were talking about it. We saw something just go into that. C route on that to X wide receiver oh, over man. and over again. We've one seen slot, him throw some completions. We've seen slot, him throw some pick six. Let's and he go, throws man. his second Stevie for a pick six on that same route. I knew if I put Harris in there, I could on the pick off that This will make it a nine point game. Two possessions. Let's go, man. And it's up and it's on. good. And he you one wonder one why he's being so careful. Okay. With those extra points, that's because Safa blocked a few in the season. Safa with his fourth turnover of the day, Scott. I think Dubby was also talking to him a little bit as he let that clock wind down, let him hear about it. Oh, no! And oh. Safa couldn't get Just loose, get had one man to beat. Look at the pick six Just once again. It's not board. only the We're user the pick, the it's the user stick. Yeah, right there. And then Mariota gets hands on him, but his tackle rain rating is buns. So he's not going to be able to put him down. And buns, huh? <laughs> the word that came to mind. First and ten. Ooh, Ronnie. Touch him, Ronnie. Touch him, Ronnie. You pay him to throw the ball, not make tackles. And that's huge now for Dubby, up two scores. And at this point, you can try to change your defensive philosophy here to just don't let up the big play. Make Safa really put a drive together, kill this clock down for you, and maybe make a mistake. There's Harrison. He's made some comebacks before. He will not go easily into the night. Yeah, he's focused. It takes a lot to discourage Masafa Jones. He's there you go, Terrell. He's thrown two interceptions, excuse me, four interceptions, two of which were taken back to the house. Yep. Two pick sixes. Yeah, but we've seen from Mustafa Jones, he's been able to fight through adversity all season long. This was a guy Ooh, Ronnie, that's you, Ronnie. who started that's off 0-2 to start the Ultimate, Ultimate League, started making a run, got himself in the playoffs. He was that final seed over in the Legend Conference, the number six seed. Going up against the number three seed, Dubby. It would be an upset if he could make a comeback. Big third down, Scott. Here in the fourth corner, another low throw. You can see it, 11 for 19, but he's thrown four picks. Just keeps going back to the well on that C route. He's playing with fire with that one. This, at this point, high risk, high reward. Ball to 31 now. Time to start and become a factor down two possessions. Good Steps read. up, makes a throw. Marvin Harrison spins down to the six. Got to punch it in here. A really good play call right there by Musafa Jones. Don't be expecting this stuff to the sideline. You call a mesh, get the post route over the middle. Dubby goes with the drag. Slang it in there for a big gain off tackle. Let's go, Harrison. Let's go, Harrison. And I don't need you to tackle for Working those Just legs is That's Walker to the five. Don't get chucked. Don't get chucked and we good. W's not even talking to Safa. He's talking to his virtual guys out there trying to coach him up. Hey, hey when, when the stakes are this high, you do whatever you need to do to motivate yourself. 
Second and goal from the five. Surviving advance time. We're in the playoffs and Herschel at the one. You see where his knee went down right on the half yard line. I think he got carried away with that truck, Scott. I, I feel like he tried to punch him in the mouth, but if he just kept running, probably would have carried him. His momentum would have carried him in. And now you got yourself on a third down on the one. This isn't a give me against a player like Dub Dot. Hands into her show. Able to avoid fight. the hit and get to the touchdown. He said, fight, let's fight. Stop in the ground. I'd much rather see them stomp the ground with their foot. Sometimes you see these guys, they get in, they start sma smashing the chair with their hand, and you got to leave the hands alone. Those yep. are the money makers. Will not go for two. He'll kick the extra point. That makes it a two-point game, which means he can take the lead with a field goal if he's able to get a stop. Every possession just feels like as big as the last. And here's a super big one for Dubby. Up two with 327 left in the fourth with the ultimate league live on the line. Who's going to come up big? Situation here is with a win. Dubby will play Drini in the divisional round. Mustafa Jones would play Problem, who's the number one seed. It's also a $7,500 game of Madden. Both these guys have guaranteed themselves $12,500 in ultimate league winnings, not, not including the $1,000 a win they got sure. for the regular season. Getting to the next round guarantees you $20,000. So like I said, 7.5K on, on the line. But more importantly, keeping your ultimate league life alive. Now you see with the win, He'll face Drini, the number two seed here in the Legend Conference. The season was a lot of fun. The playoffs, absolutely spectacular. Yeah, this is witty, as the kids like to say. Henry, with some space. Good hit. Good hit by Night Train Lane. Run the Night Train again. Run the Night Train again. You see stop a run at Night Train again, and we talked about it when those top three players came on the screen. Night Train Lane, one of those guys, he could play some serious coverage, but it's one of the few versatile players that he could also crack in, cause that fumble from a big hit. And with his win, he'll face Problem, the number one player in the Legend Conference. They're waiting for these guys in the divisional round. Henry will pick up the first down. Time starting to become a factor. Need a stop. Oh, yeah, this is going to the two-minute warning. Unless Masafa Jones wants to use one of those timeouts, and it doesn't look like he does. Foot away, foot away, foot away. Going to have to hold him to a field goal here. Cannot afford to give up a touchdown. That would put this game in the fridge. And most likely have Dubby moving on. Been a long season, been a long year of Madden 18 football, and it's all come down to two minutes for both of these guys. You could expect Dub Dot Dubby to have biblical clock management right here. As a Madden player, he really excels in these types of situations. He's going to try to make it. He's not going for the touchdown. He's not. He's going to try to pick up enough first downs to make this the last possession of the ball game. Now, much easier said than done. But if you're Safa Jones, you just can't let him continue to move the chains here. Second and seven. Clock still on the move. Hands it off to Henry. And Henry barrels over Joey Bosa. I'm going to say he got four yards there, third and three. And Safa will use his first timeout, stopping it with 123. Huge play coming up here, Cole. This is everything. Huge, huge play right here on this third and three. This three yards could be the difference between advancing to the next round or going home. Ball at the 36. Hands it off to Henry, and Safa is able to stuff him. And he'll burn a timeout. 
is a situation if you double. You can either go for the three yards, get it, and win the game. Safa's begging him to kick it. It would be a long one from there. This is fourth in the game. Either you get the stop. No, he is going to kick. Wow. And it gives Safa a chance. Remember, Safa has blocked many kicks already, and W didn't get perfect on that power. He's going to let that play clock go down no, to three seconds. That's the superstition these players have. Safa's blocked a lot of kicks this year. This and it's up, and it is end. good, and the lead now is five. But that's all you can ask for. Safa's played pretty rough on offense, throwing a lot of picks. Two pick six. Matt Prater, this is why you bring a kicker to the park. And I bet you if you're Dubby, that's why you kicked that field goal. Say this was a matchup right. that Dubby didn't cool feel like he could stop him himself. 20, his offense. There's a very real chance. He's he it out. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 20. 10. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Touchdown, go. Safa. And he's got the lead. Oh, my goodness. This game is bananas. A 109-yard return for Safa, and he's going to go for two. Making a three-point game. He's been flirting with it all game long, and he finally busted open. Herschel, no. Nope. Going to be a one-point game, and that was big. If, if you dub it, you've been doing the pooch kick throughout the entire season, it feels like, and then when... At the biggest But 109 moment. yards. You kick it down the middle to Tyreek Hill, the speech, the pro baller. And no one was in the middle. You oh, talked about Biblical with the Red Sea had parted they all fast. They for Tyreek Hill. And Safa Jones just Michael stomping Vick, his right foot the whole him. time he's running it back. I thought he was going to stomp oh, through yeah. the Henry? stage. Oh, yeah. Come here. So bring one of these kids and here. And Henry's going to have it. He trucks them. Bring one of these kids here. Oh, my goodness. Stop it. Are bring you kidding me? And he's going to lay down. Second level. So oh, smart. Kick to get Henry there. Let's go, man. He could have scored, but he lays down so he can eat this clock and kick it through with a chance to move on. And what Dubby's saying ah! is he's on another level. He came out an onside kick, audible to regular kick return. So he got Derrick Henry in position for the pooch kick, punches the defender in the mouth. And instead of taking it back, he's going to bend the knee, kill this clock, and try to oh, kick the game-winning field goal. I don't try to produce it, but that was a huge truck stick. That was amazing. Are you kidding me, Cole? <laughs> this is how we're kicking off the playoffs? Wow. This is just the wild card round <laughs> here in the Legend Conference. We have a whole nother conference. We got many more games. This is why they call it the Madden Ultimate League. It could be the game of the year, Scott. Here's the thing now. Safa still has the timeout. He may save it to I try to ice Dubby. And we've also seen Safa block many kicks. And that's why he comes out in field goal on third down. Why didn't he come out in field goal block Dubby? Hit him with the move. Brilliant. This will win Brilliant. the game, and it is good. Maybe the most epic Madden game I've ever seen. And even in a tight battle like that, a show of respect from those two players. And this, I mean, you got to take your hat off the sofa. It's so rough that his season ends like this. He fought all year long. But you have to take your hat off to Dub Dot Dubby stepping up big on the biggest stage. I'm still in shock, Scott. 34 to 32. I wish they could have played that one forever, but someone had to take the dub, and it was Dubby. I don't know if my voice can take much more of this, Cole. Let's go to Adrian Lawrence, who's standing by with both our competitors. Thanks, Scott. Yes, I'm here with Musafa and with Dubby. These gentlemen put the wild in wild card. That was incredible. Congratulations, Dubby. Dude. 
I mean, I got to tip my cap to Safi. He played an amazing game. I ran the same defense I ran the other day on him, and he had the exact answer. He made great passes all over the place. I moved Sam Shields, my 10-cap DB, to the deep safety and moved Harrison Smith around, threw him off. He, he played really good. Hats off to him. He's a great competitor, man. There's nothing but respect for him. Masafa. Um, there's a lot of times this season uh, I went down in the games and I kind of laid down and, and didn't fight back. So I kind of tip it to myself. That game I uh, fought back and uh, kept my composure, uh, made some plays. Uh, W's good. He, uh, he makes good adjustments. Uh, so it was a good game. It was fun. And definitely from the beginning when W had that fumble, it, it really seemed like there was some struggling on his end. And then he dominated. You came back, and it was a back and forth. What do you think was the most difficult part of this game in facing Dubby? Uh, it, it's, um, he's unpredictable on defense. Uh, you know, he are flash his safety. He, he keeps in a three wreck. Uh, so it was kind of a cat and mouse game between us the entire game. And uh, he won. He won. He won a cat and mouse game. So I got to tip it off to him. And Dubby, when Musafa had that touchdown or that uh, kickoff return, where was your head at? I I'm so confused with the wind. I'm so bad not preparing. When the wind's when the wind's at, at my back, I want to kick it deep to the back of the end zone. I pay $23 for a kicker, so he wants to kick it to the back of the end zone. But when the wind's in my face, I'm pooch kicking, it's going out of bounds. It's really a stressful part of the game because you have so many slow people on the kick return team that you don't want to give them an easy touchdown. But because I had to win, I kicked it deep. He was smart. That's why you had Tyreek Hill. You take it out, and, I mean, nobody fought, and he got a touchdown. Then the second kick, I was mad at myself all day for not coming out onside kicking audible so I can have fast people people at that second line where he pooch kicks it too. And I finally remembered after he returned the kick and it paid off perfectly. Kicked it to Henry. Everybody blocked, got a one-on-one. -on -one. And so we just, uh, kick returns are just God please. And they, they help both of us. You know, it sucks to win as a man player. You don't want to win or lose on that because it's not really a skillful play. But you know, if we go back to back, it was an epic game. I'm glad it worked out well for me and I'm glad it was entertaining. And Musafa, this is the end of the road for you for the ultimate league. How was your experience? Uh, I had, I'm proud of myself this season. Uh, I made some good strides. Uh, it's, it's fun out here. It's fun playing the game, making money playing the game. So I, I take no disappointment in that. Um, I'll, 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 obviously, I wanted to win the whole thing. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with what I did this season, and I'll just come back next year. All right now, congratulations. Back to you, David.